Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be making this guy wear this watch and then turn it all into a professional model-like image, like a commercial image for this watch that can serve as an advertisement. Now we will be using two different AI tools for this. The first one is gonna be Mid Journey, where we will be using the all new Omni reference feature to turn that guy into a professional model. But then we'll also have to replace the watch. For that, we will be using the magic fill feature inside ideogram not just for the watch actually but we'll also be changing his spectacles in the image so this will be a lot of fun we'll also be using a bit of chat gpt in fact the whole process will get started off with chat gpt because what i've done here is that i'm gonna first of all ask it to give me a prompt that i can use in mid journey so it's very simple i've just asked it give me a prompt for a male model advertisement for a watch and he is wearing a suit and you can see that it's given me a pretty detailed prompt I can just copy this, go over to Mid Journey, and then I can just paste in this prompt. Now, very important, we need to upload the image of this particular guy inside the ROM Omni Reference feature. So we're gonna hit this Add Images icon. I already have uploaded the image here. You can just upload the image, and I'm just going to drag this. Just two days back, I released a detailed video on this new Omni reference feature. If you haven't checked it out, that's where I go more into detail about this. I'll leave the link to that in the description of the video also, but it's not too tough to use. Mainly you just put the image here. And when it comes to the settings for the image that we want, I'm gonna select four is to three is fine. And I really don't need to change anything in the default settings. I'm using the latest version of Mid Journey, which is version seven, because that's the only model where you can use Omni reference and get consistent characters in your AI images. Now, right now, if I just, before I hit generate, if I just hit this slider, by default, this is gonna be set to 100. Now, I did try all this before exactly with the same prompt with the default value of 100, which usually gives good results. But in this case, it wasn't maintaining that much consistency. And when that's the case, you can basically increase this slider because then you're giving more weight to the features shown in this face ultimately when the images are generated. And this time after a lot of experiments, I found around 250 to be a good value. So I'm gonna use 250 here, though I will be showing you what were the results at 100 also. And now I'm gonna hit run. And if you just go over to the create tab, you can see I've already experimented this uh, with a lot, but right now let's wait for these four new results. All right, so we have our four new results ready. Let's just have a zoomed in look into them. This, you can see this looks really, really nice, very close to how he looks originally. Like I mentioned before, you can see the specs are different. They don't have that thick frame, not a problem at all. First of all, you can change the prompt right inside Mid Journey, but I'm gonna be showing you how you can do this very easily inside Ideogram using Magic Fill later on also. This is the second version. You can see this also looks good. This also looks really, really good and real also. That's the advantage of the version seven and you can see this is also good. Now, if I go back here, uh, we're actually gonna be using this image. This was again at 250, uh, the weight uh, in the Omni reference section. So I really like this image, we'll proceed with this, but I just wanted to show you what happened at the default value of 100. These were the results that I got at 100. So you can see here, this was not bad at all, still looked a bit like him, but in my opinion, not as good as what we were getting with 250. So you can see like, for example, in this image, his face looks really, really different. Though it's been my experience that usually the default value of around 100 to 150, uh, it actually works much better. But in this, sometimes you just have to experiment and sometimes the higher value is gonna give you better results. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, I really like this image that I had generated earlier. I've also given you this image in the downloadable, downloadable material. So we are gonna proceed with this image. The next step is gonna take place inside Ideogram. So what we're gonna do is once you go to Ideogram, we are gonna go over to the Canvas feature. Remember, this is only available to the people who have the paid plan of Ideogram and the $20 per month paid plan, not the first basic plan. So because we are gonna be using Magic Fill and we are gonna be using our own image, that's only for the next level of plan, which I describe more in detail in my first video where I talked about Magic Fill, which is this one in front of you. If you haven't seen that video, it's a product edit there, 
That's where I go more into detail about Magic Fill. I'll also leave the link to this in the description, but to be frank, it's not that tough to use. Once you can see this campus uh, canvas, what we are gonna do here is we are gonna go over to upload and we have to upload the image that we got out of mid journey. And also now is the time to upload the image of the watch. So first of all, let me upload the mid journey image here. All right, so this part is done. Let's also upload the image of our own watch, which will be replaced right here. All right, so now we have both the images. You can see here right now, everything is just too zoomed in. So we can just slightly zoom out because what we need to do is we just need to slightly scale this watch image down till the time it's kind of equal to this canvas in height. And what you need to do is just place it right next to the side like this. Don't make them overlap too much, but around this much is fine. So this is the first requirement. The second thing that we need to do is now we need to hit the magic fill option here. And here we start to get this interface. The first thing that you can see here is that we have to draw a mask. A mask means that we need to tell that yes, this has to be replaced right here. So we need to create the mask over this area. I'm just gonna slightly zoom in again. And there are a lot of ways to draw, the to draw the mask. You can just use a square. But in this case, since the shape is a bit random, I can use the lasso mask tool and just draw around it. You can see this is pretty easy. So now this is also done. We can hit next. Now this is the part that you really have to pay attention to. What you need to describe here before you hit the magic fill button is you need to tell ideogram what is on the left here and what is on the right here. Now how it works is if you had a very simple product which didn't have too many details like this, then you can simply just type in something like this that on the left is this product and just describe it in one line and on the right is a professional image of a male model advertising a watch. Something like this is fine, but in this case, what I've seen is when the details are so intricate, for example, here, you know, you, you need to specify all the colors, the strap, and all these little details, it's just best to give it a super detailed prompt right here, uh, especially about the product, what is on the left. Now, how do we do this? Because to do this on our own can be a bit tough. Well, we're gonna take the help of a image to prompt website. So a website I like to use is called imageprompt.org where you just upload an image and it gives you a super detailed prompt describing each thing in that image. So once you go over here, the link is in the description. We are gonna simply go to image to prompt feature here. And then we are gonna upload the image of this watch here. And then we are simply going to hit generate prompt and you're gonna see a very detailed prompt come here. We can just hit this icon that says copy come back here and we can say on the left is, and now we can paste that prompt. And then if I just go down here, and I know this is not very intuitive, but that's how this tool works. And on the right is, and for this one, you can be, you can just write it in one line. So uh, is a male model wearing a men's watch. So something like that, okay? Just a short description. Uh, should be fine. Now, before you hit magic fill, one more very important thing that you need to do, and just slightly zoom out a bit so that you can see this. The moment we clicked on next, before we started writing this, there's this pink frame that comes here. You have to move this so that both what you are trying to replace and this mask should be within this frame. So you can see like right now, both the things, this mask as well as this product are inside the frame. Now is the time that you are good to go. So we're gonna hit magic fill and it just takes around 10 seconds. So let's just wait for the results here. And you can see it's 99% complete and it's almost done. So let's just see. It's not like it's gonna get the result 100% accurately every time, but you'll just have to experiment with this a lot. And how you do that is, Right now we can only see one result. It doesn't look bad at all. Definitely looks like this watch, but to see all the four variations that it gives you, the moment you start hovering over the image, you will see, remember that pink frame which we had moved, you can see the overlay of that. Just click right now and you will be able to see this sidebar then. Make sure it is not closed. Sometimes it gets hidden by this icon. So make sure this is available. So this is the first variation actually. And you can see this time it's not as accurate because the color here is black inside, whereas here it's white. The second one definitely looks better. The third one also, I think the, there's a slight change in the angle also. I think it looks more real. 
And you can see, I think this also looks really good. Now, one thing I have noticed in cases like this is if you even want the angle to be the same, uh, you know, as what was in the original watch, then you also need to change the angle here because that can be important in a product like this where now in this case, there are no numbers, so it actually doesn't matter. But if it had numbers, then it's important that this was also in the same angle. And how you can do that is if I originally, when you go to your watch and you've just uploaded the watch image and you click on it and you can see its overlay, you can use this tool to just move it like this. Right now you can't see that, it's behind. But when we were starting off things, just make it in the same, same angle as the original watch. That's all. And then you do exactly the same thing. Like I said, for this watch, it's probably not that important. So I think I'm going to stick with, let's just see the variations again. If you don't like the variations for some reason, for example, I like the third one, so I can stick with this. But what you can do is, if you want to see one more set of four results, just hit this retry option and just hit magic fill again. And it's going to produce those second set of results also. So let's just wait for this. And you can see, again, the default result is not exactly this one. So again, I'm just going to hit that frame so I can see all the variations. And I think this looks really nice. Here, the strap is a bit different. So you'll have to really see which one uh, is it that looks the closest. What I've seen is do this around four times. That means you have 16 results. And that is a good time to just find out the winner because definitely within 15 to 20 results, Ideogram will give you a very, very good result. Finally, when you are happy with the result, for example, let's say I'm happy with this one, what you can do here is you can go over to the download button and then you'll have to select the exact canvas that you want to download because you don't want to get this watch now. So just make sure the boundaries are right up till where you want the image to be. And for example, something like this, now we can hit download and you're going to be able to get an image like this. Now also remember, we could have done this in mid journey itself. But what if you want to change the specs also, just like this guy had in the original image, you can use ideogram again for this. But remember, we need to also get the image of those specs. That's where chat GPT again can help you. So again, I just uploaded this guy's image inside chat GPT, I just typed in create an image of the type of specs he's wearing. And we got this image, we're going to be using exactly the same method what we did for the watch inside ideogram this time with our new image and these specs. So I'm directly going to meet you when I've uploaded both these images on the canvas. All right, so with our new image, we are all set to change the specs exactly the same method. So we're going to go over to magic fill, we are going to this time draw a mask. Now for this kind of a mask, since we only need to draw on the frame, we don't want to select anything. What you can do is if I just slightly zoom in, uh, both these the rectangular and the lasso tool won't really help us. So we can select this one, which is the brush mask. And you can change the size of the brush also to make it a bit smaller. And then just only run it on the framing here of the specs. So let's just quickly do this. And when you need to move around the canvas, you can hold down the space bar keys, just like you do in Photoshop, you can just hit it. And I think this is good. We're going to exactly follow the same procedure right now. So we are going to hit next. And remember, we need to describe what is on the left and what is on the right. We're again going to go back to our image to prompt website. So this time I uploaded the image of the specs here, generated the prompt. This is what we got. We're just going to copy this. Though this time, to be frank, you could have even got away uh, with a simple or, or a single line rather. So I'm going to leave this part where it says on the right because that is going to remain the same. And on the left is now I can just paste that new thing here. And I can just yeah, so don't hit magic fill. Remember the last step, we need to move the framing here till the time both the product and this is inside that. So this time we'll actually have to slightly make this longer like this. Yeah, I think this is fine. Now we can hit magic fill. So let's just wait for the results here. All right, so our results are ready. And just like that, this time you can see this result is absolutely perfect. We don't actually even need to see the variations, but just in case you want to do, you can do the same thing. Click on that overlay, second variation, third, fourth, 
I think fourth and number one are great and you can download it the same way. So when I did that, this was the final image. Finally, I used a free upscaling tool, which is I love IMG. The link will be in the description to increase the size to two times. It also improves the image a lot. And this was the final result. So you can see with new tools like the Omni reference in mid journey and magic fill inside ideogram photography definitely is in grave danger. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the different AI image and video editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.